Look what it feels like my nose, but I have a high bit. So um, I did my single eyeshadows a little bit ago. Like I've been working through my drawers and figuring out what to film <laughs> for this collection series, and I realized that I had a bunch of Mac pigments that I wanted to show you. I had a bunch more of Mac pigments, and then I called a lot of them. A couple of these may or may not get called in the next week or so. I have an itchy nostril. I'm not. I'm not. We. I haven't done this itchy nostrils thing. I usually edit it out. But my nostrils get itchy and it looks like I'm picking my nose and I'm not. Uh, anyways, a couple more of these actually might get called because um, of the Natasha Denona palette. I like pigments, so here's the thing. There's going to be a story time before we get to some actual looking at pigments. So if you're not into that, it's fine. I can see you guys tomorrow. Um, pigments are cool because, you know, like this color is beautiful, right? But they're just so messy that I don't reach for them often. And then when I got the Natasha Denona palette, Natasha Denona palette recently, there are a bunch of pressed pigments, which, make, which makes it so that I can get a color this intense without dealing with the faff of a pigment. So, no, if you're watching, a couple of these might be coming your way. Just saying. Okay. Anyways, let me uh, get started and show you the ones that I have. Um, this is the old Mac packaging. I inherited some of these from a friend of mine who used to work for MAC um, and wasn't using them anymore. The packaging, the new packaging looks like this guy. This is a limited edition, so it doesn't obviously have this part on the front, but they moved it to this packaging, which is a lot smaller and people were up in arms. But in reality, like, when are you actually gonna get through even this much product, right? I'm not against them shrinking the packaging. I just wish they had shrunk the price along with it too. Anyways, that's enough of ramble. Let's just show you guys some pigments. So this one is in Bell Bottom Blue. It's this gorgeous color. I'm going to try to swatch these for you. I'm going to make a giant mess. It's going to be really great. Um, <laughs> let's give it a shot. So it's that color right there. It has a really beautiful duochrome to it. I find with MAC pigments, though, um, they don't last. Like, do you see that color? It's really pretty. Um, they don't last really well without being primed before. Um, so you do have to make an effort to prime your eyelids. Um, and usually with, I, I find that you need like an actual eyelid primer. I've used them with MAC paint pots and they do fade a little bit. Um, but if you're just wearing them for a little bit of time, then you can get away with, you know, not using too hefty of a primer behind them. But that's that one. Um, the next one is in teal, which I wore yesterday. Um, I had an early birthday party at my aunt's house. Um, and I wore this color. And everyone was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. It also like made the green in my eyes pop. I have eyes that kind of shift. They're sometimes more green, sometimes more blue. But do you see that? It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I wore this yesterday. Um, <laughs> and it's lovely. Okay, so time for some limited edition. Uh, this one, I don't actually know. So this is the Cinderella collection. This is not the color that came in it. The color that came in it was like a purpley, I think it was like Evil Step Sister, Evil Step and evil stepmom it was like a black with a purple in it but I depotted my MAC fuchsia pigment into it because I wasn't getting much use out of that one it's a little bit patchy but I love the packaging so I depotted one of my favorite pigments of all time like this just just a beautiful beautiful color Let's see if I can get it up on my finger did you guys see that <sighs> every year when I get requests to do not I like I get a bunch but when I get requests to do like a Valentine's Day look I always want to use this color. I used it the first year I did a Valentine's Day look, and I'm like, you can't just keep recreating the same look and putting it up. But um, every day seems like Valentine's Day with fuchsia eyeshadow. I don't know. <laughs> it's a gorgeous color. This one is one that will actually stain your eyelid, so you don't need that much primer with it. Um, so I guess that's a plus, but then you have like pink eyelids for the next couple days. It's fun stuff. <laughs> the last three that I have are from the Rocky Horror Collection. Um, so this one is in, it's not easy having a good time. I should actually show you this packaging. Come on, focus. So I think it's cute. I mean, I totally, they could have done a little more with it, but I think it's adorable. So that's that one. Rocky, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. One of my favorite movie experiences of all time. Um, if you have not had the chance to go to like a live show, you should do it. It's that one right there. Um... It's an experience. And if you can go, like, the rowdier you can go to, like, the rowdier of a show you can go to, so if you can go to, like, a small theater where they do, there's one in Menlo Park that's amazing, um, where they have, like, a live, that one I've gone to, like, three, four times, um, they have, like, a live cast replaying the whole movie, like, doing a whole, like, acted out thing in front of you. And there's always, like, a bunch of high school and college kids, and everyone's dressed up and screaming all kinds of crazy things and, like, new things at the movie. 
yeah, that's the way to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> um, the next two are technically um, just uh, glitter, so I think this is just gold glitter, which I'm pretty sure... Uh, actually, don't quote me. I think it's one in the permanent line that you could get, like not the packaging, but the the color. It's literally just a gold glitter. I don't know how well this is going to swatch. These need glitter glue, like there's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, it's just a gold glitter. I mean, if there was a collection for gold glitter to come out one, come out in, it's this one, um, but it's now everywhere. <laughs> glitter. Glitter is like so much fun to work with and then you get it all over the place and you're like, was it worth it? Was it this one? Totally worth it. I think this one is in 3D. It's not right on the bottom. Oh no, that's, I'm lying. It's in 3D black, this one. I wore this one when I went to see a live um, screening. I don't know what they call them because it's not live screening. Like when I went to see like, um, whatever, Rocky Horror was playing when I was in London. Uh, at the Royal Albert Hall, Hall and I wore this guy and it was really really pretty um, It's swatching really poorly, but it's a it's a really cool color That was an interesting experience because I just talked to you guys about um, The like how I, I usually have experienced Rocky Horror with a crowd in a theater uh, It was the Royal Albert Hall and the Royal Albert Hall, Albert Hall if never none of, if you haven't been It's like a historic building. Okay, those are all the swatches if you were just here for swatches I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want some more story time, let's hang out and have some story time. Um, the Royal Albert Hall is a historic building. And an English crowd at a historic building is very different than a group of teenagers in the Silicon Valley at like a 40-person movie theater. So I go in like full glitz with Iram. Um, and you have to scream things like... Not things that I'm going to say on this channel because uh, I... For a fact, know that I have at least one eight-year-old watching this, and I'm not. It's not happening. Um, hi, Alma, if you're watching. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, everyone around me is, like, super serious, and it's, like, a very serious thing, and I'm like, I kind of need to scream these things. Like, this is part of the whole thing. So I was screaming them, and I'm sure people around me were mortified, and I'm like, why would you come to Rocky Court? Why would you house it in this kind of an establishment? So it was a fun experience. I'm not knocking on it. But it was kind of weird. Um, you also have to do things like throw um, like toilet paper and like play with like newspaper and like confetti and they don't really want you to do a lot of that stuff because they remind you that it's a historic building and no one else has all the props that you're used to having. Um, so yeah, it was an interesting experience. What I'm saying is like see it as many times in as many forms as you can, but if you can go to like a really like fun, small, like everyone is yelling all the things at the same time go to one of those. Anyways, this was long and rambly, uh, and mainly about Rocky Horror Picture Show. Thumbs up for that. Anyways, I'm going to do some points of positivity I'll be done. My first is rambling about Rocky Horror and like being in such a better mood than I was in five minutes ago. Not that I was in a bad mood, but you know what I mean. My second point of positivity is red lipstick, which I haven't worn in a while, but it's making me happy today. And my third point of positivity is hanging out with you guys today. It gave me a reason to like put clothes on. I'm usually in pajamas as long as I can on a Saturday, but for you guys, I get dressed up. Anyways, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. As always, let me know what's making you guys smile and all that kind of good stuff. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.